Alrighty, well, good morning, everybody. Um, well, uh, working on my... I was working on my final... Or, excuse me. I was working on my blog for this game, and I just came across a part that I found would probably be a lot easier if I just made a short video about this than having to go through the whole trouble of trying to type it all out. But, um, basically, until further notice, my main character, the one that I've been uh, currently, pl currently playing a lot, uh, my mesmer here, is, again, until further notice, or unless I have a sudden change of heart, uh, I am now putting him on the shelf because, to me, this class is now unplayable. Or, also, I forgot, I forgot to preface this by saying that if, you're, if you've never played Guild Wars 2 before, you, um, you, this part might go over people's heads, but I'll try to explain this as best I can. But, um, one of my big requirements for uh, playing any class is, um, is a buff known as, I call it, I call it the stability issue. Um, but in this game here, there's, um, unlike, except maybe World of Warcraft, but, uh, probably being the other exception, a lot of other games I played, um, the amount of stuns and disabling effects, the kind where you lose control of your character, are pretty much minuscule, if there's any at all, compared to this game here. So, um, I'm... I'm hovering over the I'm hovering over one of the abilities right now. Or what the, the buff that I'm gonna be referring to here in a moment, but this game has a lot of them. Stuns, knockdowns, uh, knockbacks, fear, um dazes. Daze, um but stuff stuff like that. Uh no, not confusion, not confusion. But um this game has a lot of them. And a lot of these are on very long cooldowns, like like around five seconds or so. So So again, one of the biggest one of my biggest requirements to play a class is what I call the stability issue. Um and again I'm I'm hovering over it right now. Uh, one of the buffs called stability, it prevents it prevents all these all these disabling effects with emphasis on the word disabling if you're which means if you're currently disabled you're screwed and you're up the creek with you're just up the creek without a paddle so in order to if you're stunned for whatever reason and Okay, hold on just one moment. I forgot to shut off my alarm. I'll be right back. Okay. Alright, I'm back. Anyway. But, like I said. But, um. But, like I said, if you're currently disabled, all the stability in the world will not help you. So, you know, so in order to break that stun you're currently under, you need an ability... That, as it says here in this tooltip at the bottom, it says break stun. This is what you need. But the problem with breaking stuns is it doesn't prevent any of them. So if you break a stun, but if you're subsequently stunned again, you, tough titty, you're screwed. So this now the to get to the meat of the matter. This ability here, called Mantra of Concentration, um, up until up until a few days ago, when the new patch dropped, this used to take care of. This used to be a two for one. It took care of both. It was both a stun break, and gave you stability, making that a pretty useful ability. But like, like I said, with this recent update. Um, from what I've read on the wiki and various, um, various things that I found on Google, it looks like this nerf is now official. 
Despite the fact that the, the, uh, the tooltip here, the description, says otherwise, you know, chant the mantra of concentration, breaking stuns, you know, that part, breaking stuns, but now it no longer does it. So, on yourself, I'll grant you some money, blah, 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 blah. So now, for, a while, for up until probably today, I was forced, I was forced to have a, have an ability in here to basically wasting a slot mirror images this is actually an ability i have no use for because due to my I mean, due to my build and I, again for those that have never played this game sorry if this goes over your head but this ability here is a three hit combo every third hit summons a clone in which you can have up to three of them And the attacks are fairly quick. So you can... So basically, every two seconds... Every two seconds, you get a clone. And you can, again, you can have up to three. Making this ability here pretty much useless. The only reason why I have this in here is because it's a stun break with the shortest cooldown. So, but like I, like I said earlier, or like I said a few moments ago... Mantra of Concentration here used to do both, break stuns and give you stability, but not anymore. So, it, I had to waste a slot just to have a stun break in there. But, after playing, <clears throat> I think uh, after doing some, after my, um, after earlier today, this, e this evening stream that I did, after basically getting knocked around like freaking popcorn, because uh, this basically only works once every 30 seconds, you know, basically just constantly having a shift back and forth between these two. Oh, and um, and then as of recently, I got a, I have a passive. Sorry to kind of go off the subject a little bit here, but using one of these abilities. Each one of these will also grant you stability, but again, these are not stun breaks. They only give you stability. You know, I can I can use these, but these um these here, they their effects are based on how many clones you have. So in other words, if I if I'm forced to use I'm almost forced to use these. I'm forced to use these see, see, since since I don't know where the stun is coming from. Or you know, or what's gonna What's going to knock me down or what's going to fear me, etc. Because a lot of these attacks are not predict... You can't predict them. And a lot... That's something else I forgot to mention at the start of this video. Many of these disabling effects... They're spontaneous. They're not telegraphed. You can't see them coming. So I'm almost forced to sit here and... Basically keep stability up at all times. Because this stun break here... Only works once, and uh, you can't change you can't change your abilities in the middle of combat for what it's worth. So, so basically, I'm in a position now where I basically have to keep up stability at all times. I have to keep that up. Then I have to waste I have to waste these shatter abilities as they're called. I have to waste these. I have to do what I can to keep it up. And also it should also be mentioned about stability too. That um these are measured in stacks. If you can tell, I don't know how well you can see it by the little tiny number next to that um that pillar symbol. It's the uh, symbol of the stability buff. The three, that protects you against three instances of of any disabling effect. It it protects, so it's not a it's not a permanent effect, or it's not an it's not a complete immunity for that period of time. It only protects against one stack. So it can prevent that one single instance, but it's not going to prevent that next one. 
but I'm and I'm again I'm sorry if this is going over your heads or I'm sorry if this is sounding irrelevant to everybody but again like I said at the start of this video I'm I just found it easier to just talk about it and talk it out rather than to sit here and try to go through the whole pain and hardship of having to make this super long super long paragraph or this super long essay on my blog so I'm just finding it easier to do it this way but anyway um, so because because of this whole in, this whole uh, quandary I'm in I am going to go ahead and put this character my mesmer on the show because like I said this is one of my biggest requirements for playing for playing a class it has to be a two for one effect my engineer has it my engineer character has this it's got an ability that is both a stun break and gives stability um, my guardian class also has this um, my uh, my revenant class does not it it has the same problem that this class has yes it, there's a there's a certain there's a very certain stance for lack of a better word that grants stability but not a stun break but that same stance also has a stun break but doesn't give you stability it's basically that class has has what I have now so it's to me that class is basically unplayable um but yeah so my and because of that I hardly play my revenant anymore um I'll probably have to look at my warrior my warrior class he's He's max level. He's uh, in the end game. I'll probably have to look at his to see if he has the two for one. But uh, he, was, he was another class that I haven't played in a long time. But but again, I'm just I'm just making this video now as basically a more convenient way of me saying this char this character is now on the shelf. Oh, and what I mean by on the shelf, it, that means I'm basically gonna. I'm gonna liquidate. I'm gonna salvage, sell, um, get rid of, get whatever, um, whatever gear is practical, and then I'm probably just not gonna play them, um, unless something, unless something comes up to where. I mean, and this this here is act is, it's even in the wiki that this is it's officially a bug. But um, and I guess there have been people. That have reported this as an issue. So, but again, if it's if it's on the wiki, I I tend to take it as dogma. Like it it's a known bug, but again, it it's also been a it's also been probably almost a week since the new patch came out, and still nothing is done to rectify this. So I'm under the impression that it this is official. It's going to stay this way. So again, until they change this. Until they revert this back to where this is also a stun break, I am no longer playing this class. So, so, but um, uh, but that's all I had to say. And um, thanks for thanks for listening to me. I appreciate that. And take care. And um, see you all next time. Bye now. And yeah, thanks for enduring my rant.